Hey everyone, this is Mike Jensen with GryptionGear.us. Today I'm here to do a quick review of the Stratasys Mojo 3D printer. This printer is a $10,000 machine. Uh, it's the professional equivalent of the MakerBot replicator, but with the $10,000 price tag versus a MakerBot $4,000 price tag, of course you've got some big bonuses with this machine. Some of the things that I noticed right off the bat, I have used both machines, is that this machine allows you to print support material with each part and the support material really helps you get a clean consistent model printing over and over again which is really nice uh, that, that support material washes away with uh, a machine that they also provide I'll show you that machine a little bit later on here but just to give you a rundown of how things function up on top here we can raise the lid and over on one side you've got ABS plastic material this is a white plastic that is the only material that this machine will print aside from the support material which you have over here and on the inside of this machine it is just set up really nice you've got cartridges that just drop in about like an inkjet cartridge would your spool of plastic comes over here and just simply drops into this slot here you lock that down comes over down into the print head so as soon as you get a print tray in get your plastic loaded up you can close the lid like this load your file and you're pretty much ready to go down inside the print chamber another great thing about this machine is that it, it actually has a heated build chamber so this entire area heats up along with the build plate and of course the extruder nozzle. When you close this door, as it starts to print, it has a locking feature so you can't pull it open and mess up your model. So on the inside, you can see there's some scraps down here. That's just uh, scraps from the support material. There's a brush up here on both sides that brush and clean the head. You've got two heads, one for the support and one for the ABS. And these canisters over here just catch the support material and any other scraps that are cleaned off of the head. That canister just pops right out and you can dump it in the trash. Okay, so that's the rundown of the machine. There's really not a whole lot to it. You come over here. This is an example of some of the things that I've been printing out. Uh, my son and I designed this fun little magnet man and uh, you can see it's got the support material on there uh, and that'll be washed away and some of the other items that I needed were this tablet that goes in the washing machine. Here's a box of printer trays and then of course a computer to control it. Um, I've had to load the files into the software and then send them to the printer. Uh, there's no place to actually just stick your card right into the printer. Here's an example of how the parts are removed from the tray after they're built. They pop right off of that support material. And then if, it, if anything is left on them, then they just go into the washer. The washer takes several hours to get it off, but it does it all on its own. It, it's not a lot of work on your part. Here are some example parts that I printed. Printed uh, some toys, printed out the parts and added magnets later for this uh, little toy my son and I designed. But you can see the quality of those prints is really great. A little wallet with a money clip, just a sample part. Another project that I've been working on. All right, I just wanted to do a quick demonstration of how the software works. You come over here, we have two shortcuts, one for the print wizard and one for the Mojo control panel. So you gotta start off with this print wizard and that gives me access to my 3D models and the, the different files. So I'll just go ahead and select a file. And the print wizard comes up. This gives me options on how I want to orient the part. 
and I can change the units, change the scale, we can scale it down 50%, add the number of copies we want of it, and if I forgot to add a part, hit this plus sign, that'll allow me to grab another part, and it throws it in there, you can continue to orient that part however you want. You, if you decide it's not going to fit this time, you can exit out. So, you can also control the amount of support material. It's got basic, sparse, and surround. So surround is really going to cover all the edges of your part. The default is sparse, and that's been working great for me. Finally, once you get all that set up, you hit print. Now this goes through and cuts your model into sections, decides how it's going to print it, and it also generates the support material. Finally, when that's done generating, it tells us the build time is one hour, and then it gives us how much material it's going to take. Since I scaled it down, it's only going to take 0.1 cubic inches of model material and 0.1 cubic inches of support material. Now I can close out of that and go into the Mojo control panel. Now all we have to do is select our part from this drop down and it tells us the model material and the support material, how much we have of each. It gives us the green light to tell us our connection is good and now we're ready to go. It actually tells me at what time this will be done printing, which is really nice, and it's been exactly accurate. You know, I can come back to, on the minute, and it's my model is finishing up, ready, ready for me to take. So we hit print, and that's it. Come back in however long it tells you, and pick up your model. All right, I just wanted to show everybody how easy it really is to change the material. Got this giant cartridge here. Just gotta open that up. It's all sealed so that you couldn't get moisture in there. It comes with a new brush. Take that tape off, now we're ready to replace it. I can pull that out, raise this up, remove that little insert, and then over on the cartridge head, lift that up, and you pull out the head. Then you drop in the new one. Drop in that insert, snap it shut, drop in the new head, lock it in, and you're done. Alright, let's check out the Mojo in action. Okay, I've given you a rundown of the machine, showing you how to change a cartridge, showing you sample parts, and even showing you how to run the software. So finally, on to how to wash off the support material. I had to return the printer to the local company that loaned it to me. Uh, huge thanks to Marketing Technologies, great local company. Uh, but the Wave Wash 55, also ordered, offered by Stratasys, uh, has a container that's literally about the size of a blender and the single button on top there that causes the water to heat up and swirl around to clean your parts. So super easy to use, amazing to have that support material on there that just washes away. Uh, you don't have to break it off and mess with that and spend, spend time chiseling away at parts. So anyway, uh, it's been great. I highly recommend this printer and that's Mike Jensen with Gryptiongear.us signing out.